Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I have a sales video for you guys. Um, this is actually my Etsy and eBay sales for the week of the 16th of January through the 22nd. So it's like a week or so ago, I'm just catching up on myself still. Um, but what I will do is show you the sales that I had during that time frame. Um, I'll let you know what the buyer paid for the item and then also where I got that item from and how much I paid for it originally and then at the end I'll let you know sort of my net profit after things like um, fees and like listing fees, final value fees, all those kind of things have all been taken into consideration uh, so you can get a full picture. Um, okay so the very first thing I have to show you for Etsy is this vintage contact paper. Um, this is just a close-up of the print it was my thumbnail um, it came in a roll like this. I got it from a churchyard sale, um, like a rummage sale for 25 cents. It was quite a thick roll, but really pretty, very nice for a kitchen. It sold for $14.95 with the buyer paying shipping. Next was this um, Western shirt. Um, it had like all these little embellishments on it, embroidery and beads and things like that. Really, really a beautiful piece. Um, I got this from a rummage sale as well. Um, and uh, I paid 88 cents for it originally and this actually went I think over to England so it went quite a way and um, the buyer paid 24.95 and then international shipping on top of that very cool shirt um, this is just a 1970 sort of Disney book um, I paid five cents for this at a rummage sale so next to nothing really and it sold for 7.95 which tends to be what I sell my vintage children's book for um, in fairly good shape just a cute little thing lots of classic characters so there we go about eight bucks for that um, a pair of antique eyeglasses I found these at a yard sale buried at the bottom of a box of um of stuff <laughs> glassware and I don't know um, and the person didn't really know sort of where they'd come from or anything like that so I ended up paying 60 cents for these in a big old bundle um, as you can see they definitely need some adjustments and a little bit of love and whatnot but overall they were a very cool pair of glasses um, so yes yeah, 60 cents is what I paid for them when they sold for 24.95 uh, this I got for a dollar at a yard sale, either yard sale or estate sale, I'm not too sure, but it was not that long ago. Um, obviously still has its tags on it, but it was vintage from 1986, or what's considered vintage on Etsy. Just a cute little Christmas horse, and um, like I said, paid a dollar, and this sold for $19.95. Um, paid three dollars for these, so a dollar a piece for these. What they were is these... Um, like their books that come with the uh, original records as well so you have the story and then essentially you could listen along if you had the record player very cool a little bit of wear there as you can see but yes these were from um, a thrift store like I said a dollar a piece of three dollars total and a lot of them sold for $19.95 this tie clip I got a while ago and it actually took me quite a while to work out what it was for. A lot of research and a lot of asking for help on the Facebook groups. So if you, uh, if you need help with Facebook, I would definitely recommend um, International League of Thrifters on Facebook. Look it up and see about joining. So much good advice and feedback and just a general learning, positive community, all that kind of stuff. Um, so check that out. And this tie clip actually ended up being a Boy Scout Explorer tie clip from like the 40s. So like 50s late 50s I think pretty much um but I paid three dollars for no I didn't I paid one dollar for it at a yard sale my bad and it sold for 29.95 this phone I paid three dollars for at a yard sale not too long ago at all um and it sold for 29.95 and I think it went abroad to Italy um Priority Express so whatever they needed it for I hope they I have good feedback so obviously a bit um met its match and it was uh, everything that they had hoped it would be but it did have quite a bit of wear as you can see in the photos I made to, um, sure to include extra photographs just so that the buyer could see exactly what they were getting there but overall still a very beautiful piece then this jacket here I paid four dollars for from a thrift store which is more than I usually pay but I just thought it was super cool um, obviously like an old kind of varsity bomber jacket style made in the USA really really good shape you know barely any mark anything like that just a little bit of wear to the buttons as you can see there but overall 
really, really nice piece. And it sold for $34.95. This mug sold. I paid 50 cents for this at a thrift store. Um, it's obviously got like the baseball uh, memorial, war memorial stadium, the rock pile and baseball whatnots on it from the 1980s, 1989 to be exact. Very good shape, no chips, no marks, nothing like that. So paid 50 cents off for $7.95. And my final Etsy thing that I sold this week is this children's book. I paid 50 cents for this at a thrift store and it sold for $6.95. I cannot say much more about it apart from that it has lots of puppy illustration. <laughs> so I get, uh, who knows what the person was going to do with it. Perfect for crafts or like framing for a nursery, I suppose, but overall just a really sweet little vintage children's book. And the only eBay sale that I had this week, because honestly, I've just not been putting time into listing on eBay. Most of my stuff, my backlog, um, since I'm not really sourcing while it's still cold out and the yard sales on here, yeah, it's all pretty much vintage and pretty much um, Etsy bound, I have to say, won't fetch too much on eBay, so I really need to start thinking about sourcing for uh, eBay when the season rolls around. But I paid $1.60 for the set of four of these really cute 1960s coffee mugs, as you can see here, just really, really sweet designs on them, um, made in Japan, and the set of them sold for $29.99 with buy pink shipping. Okay, so uh, my gross profit for the entire week was $252.44, obviously not too much, but like I said, I've not been putting much time in, have to do better with that. Um, the total amount that I spent on all of the items that I showed you here today was $16.38, and the net profit I made when all fees, that's eBay fees, Etsy fees for both listing and for selling, and um, obviously the cost of items purchased, all those different things taken into consideration, my net profit for the week was two hundred and eighteen dollars and seven cents uh so yes back to the grindstone back to photographing and listing um, i hope everybody is having a good january now moving into february enjoy the rest of winter and prepare for spring and thank you guys so much for tuning in um give me a thumbs up if you like this subscribe if you want to see more hopefully i'll be getting into more whole videos soon i'm so excited to saw off i'm like chomping at the bit um but yes you guys have an amazing week and i will be back soon bye